Hi, today we'll take a closer look at Cobalt 16. Cobalt 60 is a radioactive isotope of cobalt, and it is produced by neutron activation of cobalt 59 in nuclear reactors. Since it has a short half life of only 5.3 years, it does not occur in nature, and all samples that exist are synthetic. A single gram of cobalt 60 has an activity of 44 terabecquerels, and it undergoes a beta decay into an excited state of nickel 60, which emits two gamma rays at 1173 and 1342 keV before becoming stable. One of the main uses of cobalt 60 is in radiotherapy, where cancer cells are exposed to a beam of high energy gamma radiation, effectively killing them. Its gamma rays are also used in sterilization of food and medical equipment, and they can even be used in leveling devices and thickness gauges to detect structural errors. For decades, tubes have been a key component of electrical devices, such as radios, amplifiers, and many more. Some of these tubes contain radioactive elements, which improved the ionization process and also made them radioactive. My sample of Cobalt 60 is an old BOMAC 1B63A tube, which was originally used in radars, and it contained less than 1 microcurie of Cobalt 60. These tubes have been manufactured in the late 20th century, and sadly, there's no detectable activity left, since almost all of Cobalt 60 has decayed. Unfortunately, Cobalt 60 can also be used in weapons of mass destruction. Dirty nukes or salty nukes are nuclear weapons that contain cobalt-59, but during nuclear fission, it turns into cobalt-60, which contaminates the surrounding area for decades. Officially, there are no countries in possession of such weapons, and let's hope that even if there are, they will never use them. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active.